good morning. How you doing? So we got a pretty good movie lined up for you today. Uh, but first, before we get there, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like and hit the bell icon so that you know when we got all these movies out so you can get my opinion on all these movies and see if you can keep up with the 360 we're putting out this year or trying to put out this year. I don't know if I accomplished it yet. You'll tough to tell me in the comments. So we're going to go ahead and do a um, Tom Cruise movie with Carmen Diaz. And we're going to go ahead and do Night and Day. It came out in 2010. One of those new movies that don't really make a lot of money. But we're going to do it anyway. So, Tom Cruise is a spy and Carmen Diaz is a car buff. They meet at an airport. He puts a uh, package. Let's call it a package. That way you can go find out what's in the package. Because I tell you, throughout the whole movie, what the package is. And why they got it and what they're doing. So this is a, um, we're going to call this one an action comedy. And it's a love story too because Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz end up falling in love at the end or close to it. Anyway, so he's a CIA agent um, and he's, he's got a plane. They don't have any passengers on the plane. Uh, she, she, uh, she she gets her uh, package, he gets through the customs and he takes it back after customs and then um, she gets turned away then later on down the road um, well later on before the plane goes somebody in a limo turns out to authorize her to get on the plane and he's already on the plane and then they sit there and talk about fuel prices and all that fun stuff and then she goes to the bathroom and then all hell ensues um, the, all the pilots, all everybody on the plane gets dead except for Cameron Diaz and um, Tom Cruise. And, you know, the names of the actors, the names they portray on the thing doesn't make a difference to me right now. So anyway, they, they end up crashing the plane. That was fun. Then she ends up home the next day so she can be at the wedding dress fitting because her sister's getting married and she talks about it throughout the whole airport scene in Brooklyn. Anyway, so um, she's looking for stuff. And the next day, her, her sister, uh, April, at her, her wedding, wants to uh, take the old 1966 GTO Tri-Power, uh, you know, after it's been restored and sell it, because she's trying to give it to her for a wedding present. Obviously, that's not going to happen if she's going to sell it, because you don't sell something like that. Anyway, so they, she's she's getting parts. She was off on a trip getting parts. You know, she's got a big old suitcase full of uh, carburetors, mufflers, hair dryers. You know, the usual girl stuff for the GTO and her hair. No clothes in the bag, it seemed like. They went through customs. She's there and all that. Now, well, after the airplane, they, they uh, she gets home, and then Tom Cruise comes and gets her again because she's in trouble. Because the uh, CIA saw her, oh hell, saw her with them, and they wanted to catch her, and you know, safe and secure, and all that fun stuff, and you know, uh, um, talk to her about what happened, and see if they can debrief her. Well, they got her in the car and running down the road, and um, Tom Cruise shows up and saves the day. They destroy several cars in that chase. Uh, lots of agents, lots of his fellow agents gets, um, get get killed, and then he keeps her with her. You know, they do a lot of chase around there. A firefighter gets shot, ex-boyfriend or something. Then uh, Tom Cruise has to go find his uh, friend, Ray, which is sleeping in a, a shipping container, and he puts all kinds of math and all kinds of stuff on there and gives him the sign where he's going to be and then they go there to where he's supposed to be and he's on a train or something and then you know she goes and looks for him and they hang out because she's supposed to stay in a room because she was put to sleep with a sleeping drug I can't remember what they called it but you know Proton 7 that's what it is it's right there my notes right there are my notes and I don't understand why I didn't see that Guess I got to push the button to move it up and down better. Anyway, so they they um, 
they do that, and then, then you know, they, once they catch up with him, she goes out of her car and ends up in the in the kitchen of the box car or that train, and you know, talking to him because uh, the he he uh, Tom Cruise finds him out blowing the whistle in the cab, and they go walk all the way to the back of the other end of the car, and the assassin finds her, and she learns a new trick. To, uh, Tom Cruise taught her a new trick to get out of um, out of a a handhold where your hands are like this and she she ends up doing that and ends up you know putting a knife through the chest of the assassin and um, then time Cruz comes in and fights with him for a while and he ends up throwing him out the window it turns out to be a pretty good uh, movie it's really something that you know you ought to go get and put in your collection because we're giving this one a six I like good action movies with a little romance involved it keeps the girls interested and you don't have to listen to them. I don't want to watch this. Anyway, so... Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, so they they uh, run around the country, well, the whole world, actually, because they go to France. They go all over the place trying to get this uh, package that, that, that the whole movie's all about. And, you know, they end up riding a motorcycle, um, handcuffed. She gets in front, facing backwards, so that he could drive and shooting a gun at the bad guys behind her, which is what the whole preference of the movie is. All kinds of uh, action. You know, you should really go get this. And, you know, the question you should be asking, does she make the wedding? You know, they end up on desert islands trying to get off the grid he takes a she takes a phone call on him and the CIA knows where she's at because she answered the phone it turns out to be a you know one of those good movies that you you know you can't watch just once and it's one of those you got to pay attention to or otherwise you're going to miss something like where'd the bad guy come from all of a sudden you know he was in the frame you could see him if you were looking close enough in the right spot in a perfect scene but he came out of the middle of nowhere well, look at that. I got seven and a half. Well, I got better ramble some more. Then once um, Tom Cruise drops her off at home and she she wants she wants his attention because she she feels safe around him. Bad things happen when she's around. She uh, she calls her own phone number and tells everybody you know tells her own phone number that she's got the thing that they're looking for. She drives her DTO out to the road, and you know she she runs from one guys, and the other guys are standing there. The CIA's in front of her, the bad guys are behind her. Everybody wants the battery. Then she gets picked up and she had taken to a villa in oh someplace else, France, I think. Anyway, she ends up staying there, and uh, the next thing you know, she's she's Roy or or. Uh, Oh, it's Australia. That's where the villa's at, is Australia. And then he figures out that she's there, and, and he ends up coming with her, and she ends up trying to follow him after she rescues him, and, you know, because she's safer behind him, and then, you know, staying where she was at, and, you know, it's all kinds of fun. It's really a good movie. I would call it, you know, one of the better movies that I've seen in a long time. Well, in the since uh, 2000. Well, not the better movie. Well, it's in the better movie spot. So this was another 20th Century Fox movie. Uh, it was released in um, Susanville. Uh, June 16th, 2010 in Sarahville. And June 23rd, uh, 2010 in the United States. It ran 109 minutes, full action packed. Then it was United States, it's English, of course, and then um, they spent $117 million on it and at the box office, ooh, look at that, this was a good one, it made some money. $262 million at the box office. So I'd say this one's definitely worth watching. You know, and like I say, I give it a six. And you should really go get it and uh, put it in your collection and see if you can... Uh, uh, you know, actually, I suggest you get all the movies that I've got and put them in the collection because they're all good movies, one way or the other. Bad ones are even good too for some days of the week. Anyway, so 
We'll talk at you later, and hopefully you uh, you you come back for more. Uh, that's tomorrow or next week, depending on which channel you're on. Then uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.